Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Parak and in today's video we're going to take on a level 220 Astalos with the hammer. As always here are my skills. All the green numbers here are from decorations and for the armor pieces we just have a ton of build up boost and some free slots as well as a mail of hellfire to give us one level of mail of hellfire. And here is our quest. Alrighty in typical fashion we got one of the worst spawn zones for a monster but that's okay. Tons of smalls here and a ledge just behind him. Yeah, we got left in too much animation thanks to the crab who also hit us. That's lovely. Okay, he should put his head around here. If we uh, space it correctly. Not bad. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, paralysis stab. No? Okay. That's some pretty good AI to be honest. Do another one. We missed the weak point that time. That's unfortunate. Maybe give him an uppercut. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're rocking the um, double horn followers today. Just to make life a little bit easier. With dealing with some of these uh, extremely dangerous monsters. Or extremely high leveled monsters in this case. Although I guess Astalos is dangerous for me. I'm not very good with fighting Astalos. That's why I left him till the end basically. For uh, the end of these recording sessions. Okay. We really want to try and get our stun. We are quite far behind on damage because I've been hitting really crappy hit zones. Maybe now? Yeah, he decided to keep his head up. I feel like this is one of the worst fights for Hammer. I'm not gonna lie. He's so fast and he does so much damage and he likes putting his face back up in the air. Okay, there we go. We hit the face there at least, keeping sway just to be sure he'll do a second slam. Okay, oh my god his legs in the way! I wanted to position for a charge brutal big bang but his leg was keeping me from getting to him. That's so annoying. Let's do a second one, should have time. There we are. Get a impact burst as well just to build up some powder mantle really quick. Even though we only got one hit. Oh, stance break. We'll take that any day. Probably only get two of them in, maybe even a step smash if I want to be safe. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. Yeah, I knew he'd act out of it, I should have just not charged. Should go past us. We've also got um, a healing palicorn today, because I realised with my playstyle it's probably better to have one over like a gatherer or, or a fighter. How did that hit me? Wow, really? That is... Um, Quite the hitbox, to to say the least. Okay. Maybe we can get a good smack on him here. Nope. We missed the positioning as well. Really? Okay. Yeah, we'll try and take flight. We didn't get anything out of that, sadly. There we go. We got a hit. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit me, considering the last attack that hit me definitely uh, did not connect. That's a big one. Oh no, okay. We'll take that. Should be about here. Nice, there's a second stun. Two, three. We should get quite the opening here, so two charged Brutal Big Bangs will be great. I'm just gonna make sure we're somewhat close to the body in case he decides to rear his head up like that, so we can actually land those Powder Mantle hits. Second one? Nope, just one, okay. We do have a Powder Mantle built. Really? That's so rude. We just had a powder mantle building up. Oh, we got Ludroth coming around. Um, we've got raw meat from the box. We may as well save it for when we get the down. Be a good chunk of free damage if we chuck it on his uh, tail. Okay, cool. Very nice. Use Royal Ludroth here. Get some free damage in. Very good stuff. Maybe get a Water Blight as well. Because I think he can apply Water Blight. I could be wrong though. Um, but we'll try anyway. Just do the finisher. We want to get off them out. We'll do more damage without it. Easily. Okay. Um, if we position... Oh, that works. I'll take that. Let's just chuck that meat over there. And then we'll uh, start hitting the face. As much as we can. There we go. Get that damage in. Get that Powder Mantle in. We staggered him as well. That's... Fairly optimal considering the fish. One slap, second slap. 
Oh, we did get Water Blight as well. I don't know if that's from the Piranhas or Ludroth, though. But we will definitely take that. Hit this uh, Healing Clover Bat as well as his face if we can. Which we did. That's good. Second one. Alright, alright. Second... Oh, we did an instant one that time. That's not what I'm used to seeing. But we got lucky. We'll take it. One, two, three. Focus is so good on Hammer, if you haven't tried it. It's uh, very, very strong on both Courage and uh, Strength, of course. My preferred hammering. There we go. Even though it's so much weaker than Courage is at the moment, because Elemental got hugely buffed. And strength doesn't really do anything with, uh, with Elements. There we go. Get that hit in as well. We got a Powder Mental. Let's just proc it immediately by slapping him. Nice little trap there. I'm not sure who did that. Probably Ibushi. Or Ibuki. I don't know why I said Ibushi. Maybe I was looking at uh, Tsushi's name or something. Uppercut as well to finish it. Nice. There's the stun. This is our third stun, so we can still do two charged Brutal Big Bangs. But on the next one, we'll have to do a regular Big Bang combo. Just to uh, fit the time frame. Only got two hits out of the uh, impact burst. Feels bad, but that's fine. Been doing plenty of damage. Okay. Easy stuff. We'll just charge up some Frostcraft. Slaps. Only does one. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick attack because, yep, he'll respond out of it. Oh, we got staggered. Does he attack out of the air? I can't remember. He does. Okay, we got lucky. Slap. Only one of them. Alright. Ah, oh, I missed the face. Feels bad. Slap. Slap. Oh, he's doing rapid slaps quite a bit. That's dangerous. <laughs> I'm used to the one where he does uh, one slap, jump, and then slap. So that's not... Uh, not ideal for me, at least. Someone that doesn't do too well against Astalos. I'd rather him not do things I'm not used to. Nice, this will be a decent opening. Or a decent damage window. Smack. Nice. What did that damage? What? Why was there just a 1400 pop there? Was that a, like a red pop? Like a zit that hadn't gone away yet or something? I'll try and um, focus the red zit just to see, but it's not exactly the highest priority here. We definitely want to try and live instead. There we go, another good smack. Now I do have Slugger 3 on here, as you probably noticed with the, the start of the video. I find it's a bit more consistent than getting like one free knockdown from uh, Hellfire Cloak. That's why I'm using it. And Hellfire Cloak also likes to get me killed because I usually run... Moxie if I can help it, but on this set I generally don't anyway Because we are uh, getting quite a bit of benefit from Dango Slugger instead Oh, that was unlucky, but we had Intrepid Heart Of all the options there, he definitely chose one of the worst That's not a stun, so we get one charge Brutal Big Bang And then maybe get a stun out of this, potentially There we go, he's just exhausted Get another one in. There we go. Oh, it was a, a zit that was just there while he was sleeping. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, um, good to confirm, I guess. Didn't really impact too much. It just did a lot of free damage. I was wondering where it came from. Let's blind him. Ah, oh, you bugger. He kept doing two attacks out of that, so I thought he might do another one. But... Oh my god, he is being so weird, but I guess it is, he is blinded, so that's fair. Okay, he's trying to leave. Let's uh, do that and maybe chuck some fish down. I don't know if they work again. Pretty sure they don't in the same zone. Oh, they do. We'll take that. Try and uh, stagger him a bit so he stays here. Okay. I've also been playing a decent amount of world, so... <laughs> it's been hard to not do the optimal combo for Hammer. From world where it's like a, a charge level camera where it's a charge level one into another swing into um, the full up swing combo it's been very hard to not do that it might be one hit from death honestly 
Because uh, no one's hitting him there. Yeah. Nice. That just over 10. Not bad. Considering he's like my second worst monster matchup. That's not too bad. Well, everybody, that was a level 220 Astalos with the hammer. It went pretty well considering he's uh, definitely a monster that I usually struggle with. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.